You let me know if that's too loud, and I'll get quiet. My name is Don. I'm from over on the other side of the water. And uh, I, I'm with safety tonight because I married a girl from Lee County, Kentucky, in Betaville, and she reminds me all the time that uh, there are only two kind of people in the world, those uh, from Kentucky and those who wish they were from <laughs> Kentucky. So um, we first started dating, we kind of had that little catchphrase back. Those were the days of the hillbilly jokes, and I told her one time, you know, all you do is sit around the river and fish all the time. She said, yeah, and our best catch is suckers coming down from Ohio. <laughs> so uh, I learned a long time ago not to challenge her. I travel in full-time evangelism now, do a revival circuit in the fall, revival circuit in the spring, and just sporadic preaching around. But a big part of the work that uh, I do now is what we've done all of my life. I started when I was just a kid. And that's trying to, and I was listening tonight at the music, and I appreciate the music. Um, meanwhile, back at the cross. If the church in this nation don't get back to the cross before long, we're going to pay a price. Because we know that heaven is real. And we're looking forward to a heavenly kingdom. We're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we're glad for what the Lord has done for us and is doing all the time. But it's amazing how many people, as the sister sang, are just riding out a storm. I'll kind of throw a few statistics at you, and, and I promise Scott it wouldn't be too long. I'll hang around the pictures up front. They speak for themselves. Uh, some of you in the auditorium have gone with us on some of our mission trips and know, the, know what we do. We, we do stuff locally. We do an awful lot in eastern Kentucky. We do a lot in the inner city, and we, we branch out into some of the f uh, foreign countries. Do a lot of work in India and Russia and China and Africa, and a lot in the Philippines and Australia. But that's over the years. But most of the work that we do is right here. And a long time ago, when I was four years old, uh, my mother had a way of teaching me poems. She liked poems. And she would set me down and tell me, I'm going to teach you a poem, but I'm going to tell you one time. And if you want to learn it, I'll never say it again. And I love that challenge of watching her body language and watching her mouth and being able to recite right back to her what she had just said to me. And probably one of my favorite was one of Edgar Guest, an American poet laureate for a long time. He was a popular poet during the Depression era to the poor people. And I'll never forget sort of the phrases. And I love, I love the rolling sound of those little words in that little poem. Somebody said that it couldn't be done. But he with a chuckle replied, that maybe it couldn't, but he would be one who wouldn't say so till he tried. So he buckled right in with a bit of a grin on his face. If he died, and he hit it. And he started as soon as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done, and they did it. <laughs> oh, I wish the church would get a hold of the truth that when we have the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit, that, that we are a mighty army, that, that we are defended by the power of the Holy Spirit. And God is there all the time. I travel all the time in churches of all different sizes. The largest I've been in recently was 7,000 people. Tony Evans' church in Dallas, Texas, all the way down. I've been filling in in the Enon Christian Church, one of your churches recently, and there's three people there. Some Sundays, two people. But I've learned that it's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Amen. And something that I'm noticing in the church more and more all the time is there is a lack of compassion for the hurting. We've gotten so cushy comfortable, we've forgotten the days when we didn't have the air-conditioned buildings. We've forgotten the days that we didn't have the comfortable environment and the good sound system. We've forgotten those days and, and we get real cushy sometimes and not realize that around us there's a world that's lost and dying and going to hell and hurting and families are in trouble and people are drug addicted and alcohol addicted and families are going down the hole. Let me give you a couple of facts. Kimmy Rogers, sheriff in Adams County, was just telling me a couple of weeks ago. The the Vietnam War and the Iraq War and the Afghan War cover 31 years. During those 31 years, we lost 64,000 men and women. 31 years. 
Now move over to another equation. The Center for Disease Control in Atlanta just recently, last month, released the statistics that we have lost equal to that in men, women, and children on our own turf here in the United States from nothing more than prescription pain medicine alone in four years. Written by your doctor and mine, written by your dentist and mine, equal to those 64,000 men and women that we've lost in war over 31 years, we've covered that same base in four years with legalism in our own nation. So we're a nation out of control. And I love looking for those people who are trying to ride out the storm. So that's what Christians Across America is all about. My wife and I spent 26 years pastoring a church in Russellville, Ohio. And when we went there, I didn't like them. They didn't like me. I was too loud. They were too soft. And you know, there wasn't any, it wasn't any padding in the building. Everything was wood. In, and the preacher's dream is being able to get in that building where everything is wood. And you'll resonate like an old Billy Sunday sermon here of the world. And all I could hear the first two or three Sundays was, ee, all that squeaking and everything is... Hearing edge were being turned down all around out of the room. And they were praying that I would leave town and I was praying that God would lead me out of town. They never hated anybody in their life as bad as they hated me and I didn't like them too well. well all of a sudden we fell in love with each other. And we decided that what is the most important thing for us to do is once we have been saved, sanctified, holy, filled with the Holy Spirit, on fire with the Lord Jesus Christ, is we can run the aisles, we can run the pews, but we better run outside of our buildings straight into the lost and the dying and take the present message of Jesus Christ to those who are hurting. A few years ago, there was a song that came out that said, my house is full, but my field is empty. Who will go and work for me? In my field today. So that's simply my challenge. And you were, you were gracious as the church to help us as we went this past uh, January to the uh, Sioux Gala Reservation in South Dakota. Took a 53 foot semi of supplies out there. I never realized, but I learned right then that the average life expectancy on that reservation right now for a male is 52 years old. 48 years old for a female. The average annual income for a family of five is $2,600. Not $26,000, $2,600. And the need is all around us. We do a lot of work in the inner city in Cincinnati. I love Over the Rhine. I don't know if, if, if some of you have ever been in Over the Rhine. Over the Rhine is listed now among the National Geographic theologians, not theologians, but the National Geographic statisticians, to be one of the most dangerous places on planet Earth. In fact, they say that from about 9 o'clock at night to 3 o'clock in the morning, in most parts of Over the Rhine, you've got about a 75% chance of getting shot. Yeah. And I love that environment. I love to be right in the middle of that drug culture. I love to be right in the middle of that alcohol culture. I love to be right in the middle of that prostitute culture because they are needing somebody. They are searching. They are trying to ride out the storms and they're reaching but they don't know what to reach for and they are so hungry for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Up here on these pictures, if you'll take a look at them afterwards and, and I'll hang around long enough to, to answer any questions. We've been doing a